welcome to part two. I should have said toward the end of part one where I was showing not plus Shangri-La. I, I should have continued to say, let's put it that way, the DVD audio edition of Shangri-La. If, uh, if you care to take yourself back to uh, the, uh, the last thing I showed in part one. I did introduce this this item as the D a DVD audio edition alongside of its counterpart HD CD. Then I, I don't know, but then I could as and then and then continued unfortunately to call it an SACD edition along with its HD CD. So I just thought I've not only put it in the description below in part one. I thought I'd start that off part two with making that audio correction. Okay, so that, that's out of the way. It really bugged me that what from not being able to edit my material anymore. Okay, there you go, that's covered. That's the DVD audio version stroke slash edition of Lockla Shangri La. You get a high def CD as its secondary disc counterpart. You can get this in the Super Audio Compact Disc. But you can get an SACD edition of this. Uh, as to whether it comes with a high def CD, I'm, I don't know what would this not be in that edition. Um, but I, on recommendation, the DVD audio is the edition to get. Okay? Done. Right, on now with part two on proper. I bought recently I bought Lord of the Rings Fel uh, Lord of the Rings Fellowship of the Ring OST along with Return of the King OST. This one more recently. Um, I barely just remembered to add this in this in this uh, in this update. I only just remembered a few hours ago uh, I'd have forgotten if I was able to do it all in one. I'd have forgotten, I'd completely forgotten about about the, these two CDs. These are marvelous, fantastic to listen to, even though they even though they are just bog standard CD, bog standard CDs. Nothing special about them at all. They are enhanced CDs, but it's just you get um, CD ROM stuff throw it in your computer and you get just some you get some business thrown up on the screen. I've not yet tried so I don't know I don't know what you get but the, they are the both enhanced CDs. Yes, this enhanced audio C D also contains a web link to additional Lord of the Rings, multimedia content and and this one is the same. It just it's it's got it, the typos difference on the packaging because there was a few years apart between them, which I cannot see for the life of me. Uh, it must be smaller, that's why I can't see it. Um, yeah, just a little giggle. I bought the Fellowship of the Ring first, I have to say, and the Return of the King latter of the two more recently. And I thought I'll say this now as a little giggle to you at home. I've only just realised this this morning on going to play the Fellowship of the Ring. I put it in and I did notice on the disc itself that one's in the machine. It's got the Return of the King there underneath the title. I said to myself, hey look, what's the Return of the King desk doing in? Bear with me. In the Fellowship. So, uh, and I've had this for uh, about a month. The first one, I've had, I've had this one for a month. Um... I've only just noticed this morning on four weeks of listening to this virtually every day because I've loved it. I love it so much. 
I then just realised the disc doesn't respond and to the tracks on the back and yet I've only just noticed um, and I will say to you at home as proof of the pudding um, I do listen to what I'm listening to because I do remember when I was putting when I put this one in the machine um, the Return of the King proper disc I do actually remember saying to myself oh that sounds similar to Fellowship's score on on one of the tracks, at least on one of the tracks, I actually said to myself, "That's absolutely, that's identical." I said to myself, "I was sure to myself that that it was identical to one of the tracks on the Fellowship Ring." So that is proof of the pudding there. I, I, it's um, proof of the pudding there that 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 they were the same disc. Um, I have not. I'm not one to get tracks up on a on a display. I'm not one to read in late notes anymore like I used to be fastidious with that when I was a youth growing up in school I used to sit there in my desk and I used to get my CDs out I used to I all used to ever do and think and eat and sleep and speak was music and growing up I, now I don't even look at the inlay cards so I did notice actually the similarity between them it was just as on this morning as looking at as I was looking at the disc, I've noticed uh, I bought that one at Skeleton Records here in, in Birkenhead on the Wirral and Merseyside, England. As I bought The Return of the King, I bought that um, just at the top of the road here in Liscard. Also here, but Liscard near my home in Liscard. Um, yeah, a month apart. Obviously on the back, they will read differently. I said to myself, the tracks will read differently. I said to myself, oh, they must have, to justify in my mind, what with them reading differently. I just said to myself, they must share similar, or, because I'm sure one of the tracks is identical, they must share tracks. They must share tracks throughout each of the scores, running through the three of them. Get me? So I just, that's what I put it down to. And it was only on this morning once I actually read the title on the CDs that I did notice for sure. I thought that I'd just throw that in as a little funny there. Please excuse me that this video is going on forever because I can't edit my stuff. Please excuse me. But I thought, I thought you'd find that funny that I thought, I, I was giggling to myself. I phoned the gents up from Skelly Records who bought this from this morning. I said to them on the phone, just as I said, hey up, hey up Chuck. <laughs> I said to myself, I'm sounding like sort of back now. I said to myself, I said to him, um, I was in a month a week. Uh, I was in a month ago. I said to him, I came in as a customer because I know him. The gentleman runs Scary Records, and I said to him, Yeah, John, I was in, and I bought the Lord of the Rings OST, and you gave me the disc for the Return of the King, and it ch he chuckled and he said, Just bring it in next time. And it was great, it'd be great fun on the phone now, and I really enjoyed it, talking to him again. I I don't go in there so much, I ought to go to my second hand record shop, my used skeleton records. I ought to go more often, I used to live in there as a child, and it's the same gent who runs it. If you're ever in, if you're ever in, on, on Merseyside, uh, here in England, take yourself down to Skelly Records in Birkenhead. Skeleton Records, Birkenhead, they're great, they are. They, they've been there as far as I've been alive, they have. I, or most of my, 80% of my records, 80% of my vinyl here in my home, from Skeleton Records. Um, yeah, I'm going to move on. Wonderful, that's the little, that, that's, that, that's my little gab about that. The two Lord of the Rings OSTs I have. They're marvellous, they are. Uh, they, um, they reproduce really well if you've got a home cinema kit. You'll find that the chip in your cinema home cinema kit will will handle the the uh, encodes on on these OSTs wonderfully. Um, I'm currently listening to them both via uh, DTS Neo Six Cinema on my six point one my bedroom and and it comes out of all because uh, basic DTS allows for 6.1 it can contain 6.1 discrete channels 
uh, even though on the back of your CD, um, back of your DVDs, uh, it has to tend, tend to have to have, has to have DTS X uh, written specifically if it's to have a sixth discrete track. When it comes to um, audio, it can, for some reason, DTS, it can actually handle throwing audio out um, by six discrete channels, audio channels, if you throw a CD in, uh, and yet a DVD tends to have to have X on it, DTS followed with the X, otherwise it will just come out of, of five channels discreetly. On, it's, it, it's higher it does become like that when you own a home to the market. It can really become, oh shit, what was that? And you run it in and out to your bookshelf to get the, to get the, uh, to get the, uh, the information booklet which came with your to the market. It's higher, all the amounts of different encodes on your home to the market. It's, uh, it's a rat full of there. It's spread throughout all the different, you've got your, Movie Plus, you got your, your DTS, Stan DTS, you got your Dolby, you got your, you got your discrete channels, your matrix channels, your blah blah blah, going on forever. Um, yeah, it, interesting stuff, interesting stuff through a home cinema kit. You try to listen to it, they sound wonderful, they do, they come up, come up rows, they do through the home cinema kit. You'll, you'll find, I, I've got a Yamaha that I featured on the channel. Yamaha RXV 540 or 550, RXV 550, RXV 550 Yamaha's 6.1 uh, home cinema surround receiver, and it's wonderful through its 6.1 channels. They sound great. They do wonderful stuff. Wonderful, great, brilliant purchase made up with the bar. With the, the made up with my purchase of these OSTs finally. Moved on to the next CD I bought recently. This one's a high def, high def CD, just a high def CD on its own. Benefit with high def CDs, you need um, the latest in high def equipment, i.e., HDMI leads. With Super Audio, Compact Discs, and DVD audios, that's that's still analog. Okay, that's analog DVD audio. This is best heard through analog equipment, through phono leads, RCA phono leads. Whereas high def CDs, uh, more for the the modern tech. As I say, HDMI leads. I've yet, which I've yet to have, yet to get. I've got a receiver here. It needs fixing. That that's for, that's got our, our HDMI leads. I'm yet to fix it. Yet to get it up and working, but. As of yet, listening through, listening to a high def CD via analog equipment, just alone, listen to the same tracks on some standard CD single I have here, a track released from the album, but just standard CD audio. I will tell you, thus far, thus far, there is a noticeable, even via analog equipment, there is a noticeable difference to the ear listening to a HD CD, high def CD. It is noticeable. It just sounds, uh, it sounds, it, I wouldn't, I, I, I would be ignorant to say they sound louder at a lower volume level on your amplifier. I would be ignorant to say that. There has to be more than that. There has to be more than that going on. But, it's in a simply in a sense because no waffled on terribly. It, it you don't need the volume on your amp revved up so high at a low level to hear to hear the audio of a high def compact disc on this particular issue anyway. Direct comparison with with a track on a standard CD single on standard CD audio. It's uh, the actual track in question is on every street, but 
bought this years ago. Beautiful little issue, this. It's one of my Gucci packs. She's where it opens out like that, all wonderful. Yeah. I know it's been out of focus for the last half an hour, hasn't it? I'm sorry. I'm not going to do this again. I've not been able to. I'm not able to edit. It's completely distracting me. It's uh, taking a toll on my on my presentation. Yeah, I've just noticed my camera's been on macro. It's been totally out of focus for you for the last ten minutes. Sorry about that. Glorious uh, CD single I have here on every street. It's got the tracks on there. I've got a bit of quid online. The tracks there, but. Yeah, the first track there on Ava Street, it's actually taken from this album, which I have a recent remaster of, and it is, it's been remastered by High Def, High Def, uh, right, by High Def, um, I couldn't, by High Def Technology, it's been remastered by High Def Technology. And it does, it does simply just sound, it sounds clearer and more crystal at a lower volume. That's the difference thus far. Uh, when I get me, me high def amp set up, I will come back to you with regards to how it sounds by, how it should be heard, HDMI leads. Right, I'm going to cut off there as part two, and there will be a part three shortly, okay? Hope you've enjoyed it so far, back in a bit for part three.